Hi guys, welcome to today's video and in this video we're going to be introducing the concept of side angle side. Uh, we're going to be constructing it from scratch and it can be confusing but hopefully we'll make it easy for you so let's get into it. Okay guys, so this is what our triangle looks like when we've drawn it with our side, the angle in between and then the other side. So let's just see how this is done from scratch. Okay, so our first step here is going to be to draw the longest side length because I always like to start with the longest. Um, so in this case the longest side length is going to be 15 centimeters. Uh, so we're just going to draw that straight across the page like this. So the next step is going to be to grab your protractor and then mark your angle which you're given in the question. So in this question we were given 65 degrees. So we're just going to make a mark up here on the protractor where it says 65. And then we're going to grab our ruler and draw a line from uh, this vertice here up through that point that we just created uh, in order to create our angle. So we're just going to do that like this. Okay, our next step is going to be to get our ruler and set our second side length uh, with the compass. So in this case, we're going to be given a side length of 8 centimeters. So we're just going to set that like this. And then we're going to swing that 8 centimeter arc uh, from this vertice down here so that it meets our line, our construction line up here somewhere to create this intersect. And our final step here is just going to be to connect this intersect here to the far side uh, of our original line, which was 15 centimeters, so we can complete our triangle. And as you can see, we've got a nice triangle here which has 15 centimeters on the bottom, a 65 degree angle on the side, so that's 65, and then over here we have our 8 centimeter side. Okay, so the one other thing to keep in mind with this one is that this is only possible if it looks like a crocodile mouth, where the angle is in between the two sides that you're given. Um, so that's it for this construction and I'll see you next time.